people, welcome again to another episode of what? Yardis Kitchen. So, right now, I'm going to do something where it's my type of food, yeah? Because me, um, I love seafood like crazy, meaning I see the food and I eat it. You understand me? <laughs> so, right now, uh, yesterday I went to the fish market. And when I went there, um, it, it took a little time to get through to talk to somebody because I was looking for something specific. I was looking for a red snapper because my Jamaican people understand a red snapper mean. They understand how oh, like a thing that don't steam it up with the okra and the vegetable and the button. You understand me? But they never have it because you don't know I'm in Europe and to get a red snapper here, it's not easy. It's not like Jamaica is right here. The Caribbean Sea is right here. You understand? So I got something as a substitute and I'm going to do it with some vegetables with butter and of course my seasonings and stuff and I'm actually going to eat it with just crackers um, just like I would do it in Jamaica and I need to eat it with rice or anything like that normally um, if I had the time because now it's a little bit late yeah so I can't bother do the fried dumpling and stuff right now because you need something for the sauce you can actually eat it just alone because the vegetables like that um, it's a complete meal, like fully complete meal, and it's very healthy for you, yeah? Guys, your steam fish or your okra, trust me, eat stuff like that once or twice a week and text me and tell me how your girlfriend feel about it, you understand me? So now we're going to jump into that and also while we're doing the steam fish, I'm going to be doing some clams in fresh tomato sauce and that can be served with pasta. Because I'm making that for a colleague of mine and because um, I never cooked clams before so it's a new thing for me but I uh, did a lot of research and I want to try doing it my way you know the yard is way I'm gonna drop a little, you know, little thing inside of that you know so guys keep it locked and as I always say respect love manners to everybody who like the page who subscribe on the page who keep supporting respect to all my clients in Roman thank you so much man you see me I love that. I love everything that you guys are doing. I love the fact that you see something new and you're willing to try it to get me. And I like your criticism. The criticism means a lot to me, yeah? I'm not like other chefs that complain if you tell me that, oh, this is too salty. No, you tell me that. So the next time I do it, I know exactly how to do it specifically for you. All right? I aim to please people. So you don't know. Keep it locked and stay tuned. All right, guys. So this is a substitute for my red snapper. It's a decent looking fish still, a lot of meat on it, you know, so let's see how it's going to come out. I don't know the taste it's going to have, but you don't know, say, fish is fish the way I see it, you understand? But our Jamaican fish have a different flavor to it, you understand, guys? You know, the Caribbean Sea, the Caribbean waters, you know, the whole vibe about it. So we have the fish here, we have um, one fish um, bouillon and we have another one that is um, vegetable. To boost the flavor of the veggies here, we have the assorted, uh, assorted veggies here. We have the carrots mixed with the broccoli, mixed with um, the cauliflower. We have the peppers, we have everything there, you understand? And here, as you can see, this is Cajun and garlic powder. And this is, of course, the jerk seasoning. You know, I'm going to put my jerk seasoning in everything that I do. And this is a Caribbean mixed blend, you get me? So now we're going to combine everything and, of course, put a little butter. I like to put the butter inside of the fish, you get me? Because when the fish goes inside, um, I'm cooking this first. And when the fish goes inside, the butter is going to melt inside the fish. So it's going to enhance the flavor in the fish, you get me? Normally, we use the okra and, um, you know, we use um, the Maggi, uh, Maggi soup seasoning. But I don't have access to that yet. I'm still working on getting some more stuff from Jamaica. But because I and I can cook, you know, we can work with anything that we have. So.
So here we have it, my little steam fish. So the only thing is missing from this sauce is actually the Maggi noodle mix and also some crackers and the okra. But you don't know, we in Europe so we have to make do of what we have. So I hope you like guys like this recipe and remember to try it, yeah? And let me know how it turns out. guys all right this is it the final presentation for my clams in homemade tomato sauce and it's served as you can see here with the tagliatelle pasta yo people yo look at this beauty look at this first time cooking clams and i'm actually impressed yeah i'm actually impressed the flavor is good so now what i'm going to do i'm going to have uh, my friends try my food and see how they react to it you know just some honest opinion so guys keep it locked to yardis kitchen stay tuned to all the new stuff that is about to come and thanks a lot for the love and support bless Get you in.